What's up? What's new? Welcome to this week's vlog. I'm gonna sit on my couch full of my bedding. There's not really any room for me here. This is uncomfortable. I wanted to go ahead and start the vlog now. It is midday Friday, it's about noon. And because I know y'all like seeing some weekdays, normally Fridays are less stressful than Mondays because I usually am more on top of my work at the end of the week and I kind of space my workout by the week. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'll probably do a Friday, Saturday vlog. Cause today I have some more like household chores I have to get done. And tomorrow, it's Labor Day weekend. I think Brooke and I are going to take a trip down to San Diego just for the heck of it, mostly because there's a place called Holy Matcha and I've had like five friends send me their Instagram saying like you'd love this place and I just wanna go try it. Is that dumb to take like a two plus hour road trip for matcha? Maybe. I also have a big announcement. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me. Here's my Instagram. Brooke and I just signed a lease for an apartment and I'm so excited. I'm not gonna show you too much about it or tell you too much about it because I wanna do like an empty apartment tour. And then obviously I'm gonna have a lot of like moving vlogs and decorating vlogs. Like I think a lot of people are excited for the content coming from it. And even Brooke was like, wow, you've had so many people say, can't wait to see the videos on this. And I was like, I know, I think that like we're gonna have a spike in views and it might actually help pay for the price difference. Long story short, we found out that they were raising the rent of our studio the exact same day we found out that Brooke got a raise at work. So we were kind of like, the stars seem to be aligning. Like if they're gonna charge us more for this and if we have more money, why not just go ahead and get a nicer place? Cause it's not that much of a difference. So I saw one apartment on last week's vlog, didn't love it. Saw another apartment, really loved it and was like, let's just do it. It is about 800 square feet, not including the patio. There's a really big patio. I have a washer dryer. I'm so excited. And there's a fireplace. There's, it's a one bedroom. So we have a bedroom. All I really wanted was a bedroom, a washer dryer, and some sort of outdoor space. But there's also a really nice community pool and hot tub and workout facility. And there's a community like kind of gourmet kitchen hang space. So I'm really excited for that as well. So the amenities will be really nice and it's really close to a lot of shops and stores walking distance, so I'm just really excited. So we are moving the weekend of September 28th. So before then, I will be doing some, you know, decluttering videos around the house. And after then, I'll be doing some decorating videos and moving videos, so I hope you're excited for that. I'm excited for that. So I've put off laundry this week. It was a shortened week for me. I took off last Monday to be with my parents. So because of that, I need to do laundry, but Knowing that I only have to go to the laundromat, I think three more times ever, makes it so nice. Let me say too, I really like my laundromat for a laundromat. Like the laundromat I go to is really nice. The people there are so sweet. Um, there's Wi-Fi, there's TVs, I love it. But it's just the act of having to block off a whole day when I feel like my schedule is already so hectic is what makes me hate it, you know? You literally have to block off like a whole day. <laughs> I'm excited to be able to still work from home while getting laundry done. That will be incredible. And that's my big update. I'm really excited. But for the rest of today, I'm gonna do laundry, gonna pick up the house a little, get some work done at the laundromat, and then tonight I'm going with my coworkers to a really big food festival. It's called the 626 Night Market, I think. Um, it's at a racetrack here in Santa Anita that has like hundreds of food vendors, I think. So that'll be fun to go check that out. That being said, let's get this week started. I'm so hot. <laughs> I don't know if the AC was broken at the laundromat or if it was off or if they've just never had AC, but there was definitely no AC and it's over 100 degrees today, so that's very hot. Okay, I have a little less than two hours to sort and fold everything and then get ready to go meet my coworkers. So I gotta go kind of fast and I need some caffeine. Can you tell I'm a little tired? I just got inside, I'm so sweaty, but I just came home to a PR package from Siete. And it's so funny cause I went to Costco with my neighbor this morning and I told her how much I love Siete and how they sometimes send me things. And wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh my goodness, stickers, a little journal, plastic free reusable storage bag you can cook in. Wow, that's really cool. A cup, oh, that's so sweet. Reusable straws. I know that y'all like that cause you always say I get out coffee too much. A little reusable tote and new flavors Fuego, Ranch, Sea Salt. This is what I bought at Costco this morning. And Nacho. Dang. 
Thank you, Siete. That is so nice. I'm, I'm gonna munch on one of these while I fold laundry. I don't know, do I wanna eat fuego or ranch? Kinda feeling like ranch since I'm already literally fuego. Un momento, por favor. <laughs> Potatoes looking at me like, what are you eating? Mmm. Those are really good. <laughs> Also, before I start folding laundry, just because I'm really procrastinating, <laughs> I've been wanting to show y'all something that I just got. Also, potatoes going crazy. So, potato, shh. Potato, I know you're swimming so much. Oh well, if you can hear rocks in the background, that's potato. But, a couple weeks ago, I got this. This is Daisy. I have a box somewhere under here still. Oh yeah, I saved the box to show you. D-A-Y-S-Y. My coworker, uh, actually a couple of my friends, but my coworker Samara has this. She came over for the dinner party video that we did and she told me she loves it and she's had it for a couple years, so I wanted to try it. Basically, it's a fertility tracker. I don't want kids for like seven years so I can help it. And when I first got married, I started on like traditional birth control, like hormonal birth control, but then I got kind of freaked out just hearing different people's experiences and like I don't want to mess with things that I don't really fully know the consequences of, so I was looking for something that doesn't use hormones and that I can kind of help prevent pregnancy. So I'm excited to try this. Basically, it's like a thermometer. You turn it on, I don't know if I'm gonna mess it up, but it's like Bluetooth activated, and it takes your temperature every morning, and it learns your body, and then it tells you, based off your temperature in the morning, if you are fertile or not, which is so cool. Um, it's crazy that science has gotten this far. So I've been using it just for a couple of weeks, and it's still learning my temperatures. So it lights up yellow, like it is right now, when it doesn't fully know you yet, and then it will light up red when you're fertile, or green when you're likely not fertile. Really, really cool. I'm actually gonna be trying out a couple different like fertility devices. And then within vlogs, I'll just let you know which one I like the best. I do like that this is Bluetooth, um, and I do like that this is a one-time fee. So far, I really like it, and I'm excited to just know my body more, you know? Seems very futuristic as well. It just syncs up to the app, it's pretty cool. I feel like a little doctor lady whenever I use it. <laughs> also, I feel like this goes without saying, but I was reading back up on some of the Daisy stuff to make sure I, you know, told you everything that I felt I needed to. And obviously, it does not protect against STDs, and they do say it's recommended only for women with cycles between 19 and 40 days. Just because if you're curious and thinking about getting it, that way you know if it would work for you or not. Yeah, okay. Back to folding laundry. Also, I just recently found Dr. Mike on on YouTube. I'm obsessed with him. I've been binging all of his videos. I hope to be that good of a YouTuber someday. Missing someone. I cleaned the house, styled my hair, uh, vacuumed, all that whole thing, and Brooke is still not here, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and head over to where my coworkers are hanging out, carpool with them to the to the food market tonight. So I gotta get out of my pajama shorts and into some pants. <laughs> we got here, and this is gluten free. You probably can't hear me at all. <laughs> That's Morgan. <laughs> I think I'm gonna regret this because it's a lot of cheese. So much cheese, so we can fathom the whole thing. Thank you. It doesn't look good at all. <laughs> it looks like so. But that looks awful. It's split in half. Oh, sad. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, you got this. Oh! oh. Disappointment. Oh. This is for the views. <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> I told you! <laughs> Good morning! It is the next morning and we got home really late, but we're about to head out to San Diego. But I wanted to show you for the next apartment. I want to be less afraid of color for the next apartment. So this is my inspiration picture. And I forgot that it's Labor Day weekend. So I ordered this rug for 70% off. So it was $130. Isn't that crazy? It's going to be too late by the time you see this. So I'm sorry. Next year. <laughs> the thing that I'm most excited for today, Brooke's staring at me like I'm crazy, is going to Holy Matcha. What are you most excited for? <laughs> he doesn't know. He's just a nice, supportive husband. Okay, I'm gonna get shoes on. I 
feels like maybe a million hours later, we are finally pulling up to San Diego. And I guess we're gonna start with matcha, right? Matcha. I'm really excited. I also found out that the old manager of the restaurant I works at, good friend, owns this place. I messaged her saying that we're coming today, but I don't know if she'll see it in time. We're here and I'm so excited. It also feels really good to stand up because it's been like four hours. <laughs> Strawberry almond milk matcha latte and Brooke got a orchata orchata matcha? Orchata matcha. Orchata matcha. Or matcha. <laughs> and this is dairy free, gluten free strawberry. Oh, really good. And we got a matcha chia pudding and a gold spoon. Brooke's very apprehensive. You should try it, you might like it. You wanna try it? Chia pudding's healthy. Mm, I like it. You don't like it? I don't like the texture. Got the rest of the donut and I'll have the rest of the pudding? Yeah. And from my beverage to Brooke's beverage of choice at Ballast Point on their patio. Got some pretzels. Which are you gonna choose? Brooke said I vlogged this before, but new day, new vlog. We decided this would be a beverage tour, so now I have an iced almond milk chai latte. And Brooke has a regular chai. chai. We really just wanted some AC. <laughs> the last stop of our beverage tour, we're going to one more brewery to meet Brooke's college friend that I've gotten to know on social media, but not in real life. So I'm excited. Apparently there's kombucha on tap, so. I'm happy. Yay! So you get a wristband and a cup, and there's beers everywhere, and kombuchas. So then you pour your own. Getting snacks for our road trip back. My child husband is getting his healthy dinner of gummy bears. What else are you gonna get? Chocolate. I wanna know what you're gonna pick. Hello. Mm, what would I pick if I were you? Ooh, caramel nut patties? <laughs> yeah, do the nut patties. How many nut patties are you getting? <laughs> <laughs> it's too it's connected. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how many to get. That's a lot. It's too many. Well, in addition to that. This is over the period. That's of, a lot. This is over a period of several days. It's a holiday weekend. Hey, you also have many Starbursts at home. I ate them all. <laughs> you ate them all? It's going to work. I shared. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're back home. It was a long day. It was a fun day. But we have to be up at like 6 a.m. for church. Isn't that right? So we're going to go the heck to sleep and end the vlog right here. But thank you so much for watching. I love doing vlogs and I can't wait until I get to do this full time and do a couple of vlogs a week. Maybe. Should make promises I can't keep. But that would be ideal. I love you all. I hope you have the best rest of your week and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye!